Okay, so let's try again. Wonderful that it can do this, you know. But then let's take it out of the razor. So I turn that off now. And there's a button here that you click with the arrow E for reset. So it gets back uh, to its original position. Then let's go up. And I did calibrate up. Uh, I did. Alright, so we are getting to to meet the Queen 3S right now. Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin and uh, today we are, oh, I am trying to clear out every issues I had with the last video, like trying to communicate better on this one and hit the nail on the head and let's get on to it before I go astray. Um, if you're new to this channel, well, consider subscribing. First of all, why I still have it? Because on my last video, I did say I was returning it. So Zim reached out to me. Um, I was like, before you return this stuff, uh, here's our take on it. We are confident, that's what they said. They said they are confident of their products and that there's no situation they cannot fix um, online via firmware update and uh, calibration and stuff like that. I should recouple it, have another go at it, send them clips this time. So I was like, okay, sounds good. If, if they can work on that, you know, I'd already done the firmware. I let them know I'd done the firmware, I'd done calibration. Um, you know, there's only one calibration left, which is the sixth, um, six side calibration. I'm not sure. I'll write it on the screen because uh, I'm not sure the name, what the name is. Uh, they said, uh, you know, they kind of, you know, think that that will fix any further issues with this gimbal which I'm patiently waiting for on that video. You know, I've sent some clips to them. The biggest issue is vibration. About the extension arm that I grumbled for, funny enough, when I coupled it this time, it took me, it took me like a minute to fix it. Like it was like, you know, and somebody whispered to me, somebody who's used to shipping loads and stuff like that. He said, uh, probably, if they if they ship this thing like this with this arm it would demand a bigger box a larger unit and the price will have to go up so it's probably that it is one of those things that they want to keep the price down keep it minimal keep it portable as much as possible so that um, it can be affordable i don't know how true that is but it makes sense to me let me know what you think about that so um, really, the issue is nice, just the vibration. So here is it. Now at some positions, it will stop vibrating. Now here's the motor. It says motor here. Now if I go in, this is set to low. It's vibrating, right? And I turn, flip it over to medium low. And I go in. Let's wait a minute. All right still vibrating then I take it to um, medium and then give it a second still vibrating and I take it to mid-high now it comes low like this is what it wants but it's ridiculous this is a light camera so but here take a look at the vibration Okay.
it vibrates when you're moving. Let me put it down. Okay. Let's see if I'm the under under slug mode. You see, this will start vibrating. If you leave it alone, if you're just holding it, holding on to it like this, it will vibrate. Now it may not do that now. It's I feel I'm feeling the vibrations in my hand, but after a while it comes visible and then this thing starts to kick. But if you hold it out um, behind here, you usually get smooth shots. It's like it needs some form of support. You know, if it doesn't get it, it vibrates. That's one of the things I've noticed, you know, I can get a smooth shot as long as I'm holding it. But sometimes you just want to relax your arm and go this way and get that, you know, bottom shot. <coughs> it will vibrate and uh, mess up the shot. So it looks like this is what it wants you to do. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that is expected, but you know, that's one of my issues. So. I think it's 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 really suitable for large cameras. It's like if you don't want to use it on cinema cameras, then don't put this arm on. I'm not sure. I'm I'm just saying from my little test. I'm still going back and forth with Zen uh, with the Zen uh, support, and um, I'm yet to hear from them. And I can't conclude on all any of this yet until I yeah you know hear from them and know what they think or they thought about the clips that I showed to them. Um, but this, um, so I really, I don't know if I'm returning it or if I can resolve the issues. It, I can make some things happen, it works. You know, I can get some shots, but it's not a comfortable experience. You can't really um, predict what's gonna happen on set if you do take it on set. So that's my own take on it. And when I do, if I do return it, I'll let you guys know somehow, you know, and if Xeon is able to work with me and get a solution for this gimbal, um, then I'll keep it and um, everybody will be happy. I really love it. I want it to work. So I'm, I'm giving it an, an, another shot. Hopefully this gets you the information you really need about my issues. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next one. All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Banky Wellington here, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, giving a special shout out to Alec Godwin's YouTube page. Much love. So, in other words, I really am redoing that video because I put it down, and um, hopefully, with this video, I'm able to fix the situation. I'm able to like.